Well, it could be months, even longer, before Justin Ross Harris gets his day in court here in Cobb County. But every day, new information is coming out on the Marietta father. Was he telling the truth about the day his son died? We are told retracing his steps is key in this investigation. I think it's really important to be able to actually put motion with words. Latonia Hines is a prosecutor with the Cobb County Solicitor's Office. She says reenacting Justin Ross Harris's steps on June 18th is a key piece of the puzzle. Harris told police he had breakfast at Chick-fil-A with his son Cooper, then drove to work, where he accidentally left the toddler in his hot car. Can you actually have gone from that short period of time from the Chick-fil-A to Home Depot where you're parking without ever noticing that your child made any noise or anything like that. We retraced Harris's steps for ourselves. After driving out of Chick-fil-A, we were stopped at a traffic light. When it turned green, we drove on to Harris's office at Home Depot. The total trip took just over two minutes. Investigators say Harris told them his son fell asleep in the car after having breakfast. The time frame between just having breakfast or whatever with your child and getting in the car and driving to your office is such a short period of time that what could have occurred that you would have truly forgotten that your kid was still in the car. I think it's common sense and I think that's what's driving this case. I think I'm at five minutes in. It is unbelievably hot in here. Investigators say Harris watched this video of a vet who showed how hot a car can get in a short period of time. Haynes says watching the video alone is not damning, but together with Harris's alleged sexting and other actions, the case against him appears to be building. I think that you, you get the sense that he was not the most focused person or that he had somewhat of a different lifestyle than everybody knew about. I think that he had another life that he was on some levels living or wanted to live. Some reports say the DA here has received toxicology results and they show no trace of anything in Cooper's system. Police tell us the ME has not confirmed that. Coming up next hour, Harris's comments on social media and how they play into this murder investigation. We are live in Marietta, Renee Starzik, CBS 46 News.